Good morning. This is uh, the first video in the spring 2014 No Better series from FDDS. This is my final semester at AU, and we're starting with uh, Five Minds for the Future by Howard Gardner. Uh, I'd also like to make a note that today is Martin Luther King Day, so uh, we have a lot to think about and a lot of different ways to connect this reading. So, first off, what did I learn from this book? Well, Looking at Gardner's work, um, sort of in its totality, I, I do agree that there are many different minds and there are many different ways of thinking and learning and multiple intelligences. Um, overall, it was a pretty painless read, but I really believe that Gardner was trying to get across that we as thinkers, as people really need to focus on bettering ourselves. I think that's why he started out with the Discipline 9, that we need to think in terms of disciplines in order to really get the most out of what we learn. And then we can synthesize and be creative and respectful and ethical, um, and that really allows us to be the, the best kinds of thinkers. Um, I feel like I'm constantly trying to apply these values to my own personal life, uh, whether I'm trying to learn something academically or personally or, you know, just very broadly. So I thought this was a fairly good read. It's definitely not the best book I've ever read, but um, I thought how Howard Gardner had a few good points and, you know, Stylistically, he's not my favorite writer, but in terms of the ideas he was trying to convey, um, he has good ideas. So that's my perspective on Howard Gardner's Five Minds for the Future. I'll see you next week when we talk about the power of habit. Uh, take care.